So hi guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So right now it's a little bit chaotic in my room because my two kids are with me. So you're gonna listen a lot of noise around me. But so in today's video is gonna be a first impression about about this palette. So I'm super excited to try this because I never tried. Uda Beauty eyeshadow like never ever before so it's gonna be my first time trying this uh, eyeshadow so I don't know how the formula is how the color blends how everything works so I'm super excited to try this and I bought the Amethyst Obsession because all these little palettes are so beautiful but I don't have anything else like this in my collection because I just I don't want to buy another um, warm eyeshadow palette because I just have so many right now. <laughs> it's crazy right now in my room. Before to jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already to put the thumbs up button if you like this type of video. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, so Instagram, uh, Facebook and Twitter and without further ado let's jump into this so, first of all I'm gonna prime my eyes because I always prime my eyes and I know I have right now red lips because yesterday I put makeup on and just stained my eyes so I'm just gonna put the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair and I'm gonna set everything with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna go with. Does it have names? On the sh no, it doesn't have names. I'm gonna go with the lightest shade in the palette. So they are a little bit dusty. When I put my brush, they come a little bit all over the place, but that doesn't bother me at all. Oh, this mirror is very good. They are blending very well right now. Oh, this... Please stay there. I'm gonna go with uh, the this shade right here. And I'm just gonna go a little bit... I'm just gonna take my first brush and blend everything on my lids, but I love this shadow so much right now. So I'm gonna take the darker shade and I'm just gonna darken the out of on my lids. shadow and I have a little bit of fallout but not that much uh, if you do your eyes uh, after your foundation right now it's not gonna look crazy I don't know with the the more glittery shade but with the matte everything is fine Gosh. these shadows are looking I I just I love this high look right now just like this and it's far away to be finished and I love it I'm gonna put this one on the darker shade I put on my on my other V this shade it's a little bit more difficult I don't know if I put this with my fingers because with the brush I don't know it's because the color under it's a little bit too dark that the shade doesn't show up but I don't know so I'm gonna take this one and put this this shade is standing too and I have a little bit of fallout but it's not crazy and take the middle shade right here, the stunning shade. And mm, it's not picking up that much with the brush. 
Oh gosh. This is freaking fantastic. This one I have fallout, so I don't know if I wet my brush a little bit. With Fix Plus I have not so much fallout. And I'm just gonna flip the brush and take the more um, rosy shade and put this in my inner corner. The center shade is... This one it's so beautiful. It's like so many shades in one eyeshadow. It's blue, violet, pink. Stunning. I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter. So this is my heavy metal pyro. So I'm just gonna clean my under eyes because I have a little bit of fallout, but it's not that crazy. Just if you do your foundation first, when you take the glittery shade, just wet your brush before with a little bit of Fix Plus or something like this. And this way the glitter is not gonna go everywhere on your face. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face, the face. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and I'm gonna be back to discuss with you all my thoughts on this palette and yeah so be right back so four hours later i just finished uh, my makeup and my eyes and my final verdict about this palette is just if you love this tone if you love these shade grab this palette because Everything blends so well, the shade just looks so stunning four hours later. They are super pigmented, they are super foiled, this 3-1. I love them so much. I don't have any other shade like this one. I just don't. This one too is super stunning and the other one too. Another swatch. Look at that. This one. Just a little bit more. Look at these three shades. They are super stunning. I just love this palette so much. I'm gonna use it way more than what I expected because when I was looking at this, I was just, it's super pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna use it for my day to day life. But yeah, I'm gonna use it. Just a little bit of this pink shade in the crease and this one on the lid. Or you, you can do very, like, everyone is different, but you can do super light makeup with this and a super smoky eyes makeup. If you uh, put this all over your lid with a little bit of this in the center of the lid or one of these, you, you can do so much with this palette. And I, I just want to grab the other one. That's it, guys. I hope you like this video. And I will see you soon. Bye.